because when I was born, I wasn't born with the Bible. Jesus wasn't born with the Bible. So why? Well, I'm going to say this. Jesus was born with the, what we call the Old Testament, the, the scrolls of the, the, uh, word. the scrolls of the prophets. He was raising that, or what we call the Torah. He was raising that. Right. They gave it to us in the form of a Bible. Right. We, they didn't have the Old and New Testament as we have it today. They had scrolls. So, technically speaking, they didn't have a Bible that's compiled of Genesis to Revelation. No. But they did have the Bible. That's right. You understand? They were taught by the prophecies. Christ understood the prophecies. Christ heard about the history of Exodus. Christ heard about the history in Deuteronomy. All of those things was around. You understand? So, if Africa was one of the first places that we was commanded by Richmond, and you know, I know Aboriginals, they say, you know, so why do we have them? And, you know, if basically we were born with the Bible, how come they forgot about the Bible and forgot about the law? Ex eight, uh, Psalms 83. Well, you have to understand about Africa. Africa was called Ham. That name was rechanged. They changed it to Africa. Man by the man of a man of name of uh, Leo Scipricus Africanus. He was an Italian navigator. A lot of the names that we see today are not the original names of those lands. Right. Like Egypt wasn't called Egypt. It was it was Mizraim. Kush wasn't called. I mean Ethiopia wasn't called Ethiopia. It was by Kush. It was the name of the inhabitants of the land. The, inha the, the people that inhabit that land. That's the name that came upon. Them, right. Like we were Israel. We inhabited Israel, where we conquered Israel. Canaan was conquered, uh, over, was inhabited by Canaanites. So you understand what I'm getting? So, we're so now a, when we a, talk- A nation of people. Right, so when we talk about Africa, mm -hmm. we're not saying that we're Africa. Yeah, we were in Africa, but we were never Africans. Right. When you understand the history, no, we ran into Africa during 70 AD. Right. I'm gonna read that for you real quick. Who has it? Yeah, there you go. I want this and I want this on uh, the Babylon Temple. I'm going to deal with the Africa point and I'm going to go whatever question that you have. Get that real quick and um, yeah, just, just read Psalms 83 verse 1. Psalms chapter 83 verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So they have taken crafty counsel. It was crafty enough to where we couldn't see it coming, right? Crafty counsel, hidden counsel, secret counsel against your people. Read on. And consulted against thy hidden ones. We're the hidden ones because we don't know who we are. We're walking around thinking we're black and Hispanics and Native American Indians when God called you the Israelites. Right. That's why we out here. We out here for the hidden ones that don't know who they are. Taking crafty counsel against thy hidden ones. Read on. They have said, come. And let us cut them off from being a nation. Let us cut them off, the people, from being a nation. And they no longer recognize themselves as a nation. Did you know you were from the nation of Israel until somebody came and told you that? Did your mother and father tell you you was an Israelite? Or when you came of age, you understand? Because why? That information was cut off from us. Right. A lot of us didn't grow up with that understanding. We're just now understanding that we are the Israelites. Right. So-called blacks and Hispanics. Right. We're just coming to that understanding because that grabbed the council. Read on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Read on. For they have consulted together with one consent. And they did that. They did. It was one consent. The nations outside of Israel came together with one consent to cut off that name. That's why we are no longer calling ourselves by those names on that side. Right. Let's see what happened. How did we get into Africa? That's your question. Let's get that uh, Luke chapter, chapter 21, verse 20. Break it out. Oh, right quick, I'm gonna read this for you real quick. This is a Zondervan's Compact Bible Dictionary. You own one of these? You own one of these? This is a dictionary. I'm gonna keep it in the marker right there, but I want you to see it for yourself. Just hold your finger right there. That's the Zondervan's Compact Bible Dictionary. You understand? All it is, when we go into it, we're just defining words. We're not saying this is the Bible. We know this for a fact because the Bible backs up this, so we're not using this to validate the Bible. But I want to show you something out of this. Now, we're not using this to validate the Bible. The Bible validates this because this is what I'm about to read for you. Check this out. This is on page 
213 in this book. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let you read it. Right? Who got another one for this brother? I want you to follow along. I wanna show you something real quick. I want him. Let that brother get it. It's on page 213 on the right side, right color. Chapter 21, the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary, page 213. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor. He became the father, the progenitor, read on. Of the dark races. He became the father of the dark races, read on. Not the Negroes. Why did they put that in there? If they know that you're not, why, why are they telling you African when the person, the scholar said, no, you know what? He's a father of the dark races, but he ain't the father of the Negroes. Showing us that there's a difference between us and them. Right. We're not the same people. Right. That's like saying the Eskimos down there, that they are Africans. No, they're not. Hawaiians are not Africans. We all dark skin, but that don't mean we all all the same people. You right. understand that? Possibly. All the races in the beginning were dark races, but here, check this out. He became the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes, but who? But the Egyptians, Africans, Ethiopians, Africans, Libyans, Africans. and Canaanites, Africans. See that? He was the father of the Africans that we know today, right. but not the Negroes. Right. Now let's show you how we got into Africa and how we were identified as Africans. Being there, that we was there for over a thousand years. We was there for, for years to where we adapted to their cultures. We took on character, certain characteristics that they did. Of the Africans? Yeah, we was in there for a while. Canada instead of Africa? They are Africans. Huh? Canada, right? Not Eden. Say it again? So we was in Canada or Eden? No, we were in Africa. We ran into Africa. I'm going to show you that time period now. I'm I think, I think you talking about we was in, we was in Canaan. Canaan is we, in Africa. Yeah, Can yeah. Canaan That's is in Africa, Africa, yes. Yeah, Canaan but what would happen then? Before we, we were in Africa, we was in where? Ham? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to rephrase it. I'm going to rephrase it. We were in the land of Israel, what we called Israel, which was the land of Canaan. Still Africa. Yeah. What we did, we ran further into Africa. Right. Now I'm going to show you the prophecies. Luke chapter 21, verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Uh -huh. Then let them which are in Judea mm -hmm. flee to the mountains, mm -hmm. and let them which are in the midst of it depart out, uh -huh. and let not them that are in the countries uh -huh. enter thereunto. Uh -huh. For these be the days of vengeance. That but all, these be the days of what? For these be the day of vengeance, uh -huh. that all things which are written may be fulfilled. That all things that were written, now they're going to start to be fulfilled. Deuteronomy 28 falls into that same thing. Right. Now let's read the actual account of what he was talking about. This is Christ speaking. Here we go. This is from, oh, you got it? Oh, I thought you had a, another one. Okay, you got it when I did. This is uh, page 84. The middle highlight, if you have it highlighted in there. From that Babylon to Timbuktu. We're going to read it again, back in the Bible, but I want to read this account. Page 84. In the year 65 BC, the Roman army. The Roman what? Armies. Read that again, real at the top. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies. Compassed about with what? With armies. Read that again from the top. In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state. These be the days of vengeance. That's what Christ was telling us. Read on. With great slaughter. With what? With great slaughter. A lot of us fled out of there. Christ told us to get out of there. A lot of us stayed. A lot of them was dead. Called the zealots, the zealots. A lot of them stayed thinking they could fight off the Romans. They were put to death. That's why Christ told us, hey, flee into the mountains. Flee where our forefathers always used to run when, when the enemy came into the line, the, the, behind the border. We ran into Egypt. Right. We ran into Africa. Read right. on. During the period of the military governors uh -huh. of Palestine, uh -huh. many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. The remaining that stayed. That's why Christ stated what? Um, 
21 reverse 21. Luke chapter 21 verse 21. Uh -huh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountain. Which majority of us did, freedom. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. A lot of them didn't follow Christ. They stayed. And what happened to the residue of the people? And many, and many atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. But a lot of them fled to the mountains. Read on. During the period from Pompeii to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews over one million Jews fled into Africa. Read on. Fleeing from Roman persecution uh -huh. and slavery. Read on. The slave market. The what? The slave market. Hold on. Read that part right there. And now, um, two, verse 22. For these be the days of vengeance. These be the days of vengeance, read on. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. And all things that are written must be fulfilled. Get that in Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Read that again. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Read that, Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery with ships again. <laughs> with ships. Uh -huh. By the way where I spake unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. That land you flee from. You ain't going to see this land again. You're going to be in your land of your enemies. Hosea chapter Hosea. 1 verse 10. Mm -hmm. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be at the sand of the sea. Mm -hmm. Which cannot be measured nor numbered. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass, read on. That in the place where it was said unto them. In the place where it was said unto them, read on. Ye are not my people. That crafty counsel we just read in Psalms 83, read on. There it shall, there be, it shall be said. There it shall be said uh -huh. unto them. Uh -huh. Ye are the sons of the living God. This didn't happen to Africans. The Lord said, you want to be, ships. let's go back to that real quick. You want to be carried off into slave ships and what is going to happen to us? We don't. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. Mm -hmm. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And there uh -huh. you shall be sold unto your enemy. Uh -huh. <laughs> For bond men and bond women. That happened to Jews. That didn't happen to Africans. So, you got something else? Yes, sir. The book of From Babylon to Timbuktu. You understand the point so far, right? All right. Page 133. As the historical evidences indicate, the black Hebrews were snatched from the west coast of Africa. Give me that sign right there. Turn around real quick. What did the, when you look at the sign, what did the majority of us come from? Look at, look at, look at, look at the indication. Look at the arrows. Look at the numbers. Where are they coming from? What part of Africa? West side of Africa. Uh -uh, some of these numbers I can't even hardly say without messing it up. These are the, these are the numbers on how we were carried away. West coast of Africa. You understand that? The counts bear record of this. This is what Christ was talking about. It says, then what was said shall be fulfilled. We were carried in cargo slave ship, not Africans. There's a difference between us. We're not Africans. That's what they told us. That was a crafty council. So now when we look at it, yeah, we came from Africa, so we must be Africans. No, we got to do the research. It says, prepare yourself to the search of your father. Let's get that real quick. Job 8 and 8. This is why Christ left us with this advice. It says, what? Get that real quick. We can get it. Job, chapter 8, verse 8. Uh -huh. For inquire, I pray thee. For inquire, I pray you. Read on. Of the former age. Of the former age. And prepare. You got to look before the dates that they gave you. You gotta look before slavery, because if you only look at slavery, you say, well, we Africans. Right. Look before slavery. How did we get into that land? Right. Why are they fighting over a land that's called Israel? Who was in that land for them to be fighting over? Who, who owned right to it? Right. right. They're fighting over something that's, that's not either theirs, it's not, it's not the Palestinians, right. nor it's those fake Jews. Right. right. Whose land are they fighting over? That's what we don't understand. Christ said, prepare yourself to the search of your fathers of the former age. Read on. And prepare thyself to the search of their father. Uh, read that. Read on. For we are but of yesterday. We are but of yesterday. We got a lot of learning to do. That's what the Lord is telling us. We are but of yesterday. Read on. And know nothing. And we don't know nothing. So this is what you have to do, brother. You got to be taught again. If you were taught that you were African, you got to put all of that stuff down. You got. You must be taught again. Right. Read on. 
Because our days upon earth are a shadow. Because really there's no time to waste with ignorance. The stuff that they gave us, the Christmas, the idols that they gave us, Sunday is the seventh day that Christ died and so everybody can commit sin. All that stuff we got to drop down. If the Bible don't testify of it, it's garbage. You understand? The deep things come later. All the stuff you're asking about, brother, you can get that at the school. You understand? Fringes is a least commandment. You know, you understand you have to be wearing fringes? That's one of the, that's the things you should be asking about how what and what laws that Adam have and what he didn't have. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't mean nothing for us right now because Adam failed. He obviously was given something that he didn't choose to commit. I mean, choose to commit to. So we got to reverse the cycle. You understand that? What Adam was given is what we are to apply now. Keep the basics first. We'll go to the um, uh, number 15 in a few minutes. We'll, we'll let you go into that. Read that. Thing, sir. Shall not they teach thee? Shall not your fathers teach you? Read on. And tell thee. Uh -huh. And utter words out of their heart. Uh -huh. Can the rush grow up without mirth? The rush mirror? is a weed, right? It said, can it grow up without the mire? It doesn't work. The rush, it needs the mire. It needs the soil in order for it to grow. Read on. Can the flag grow without water? And what can the flag, which is another plant, can it grow without water? Read on. It needs the water. Read on. Well, it is yet in its greenness. Because while it's yet in its greenness, though the plant looks like it's surviving, but it doesn't have the mire nor the water. Read on. And not cut down. Uh huh. It withereth before any other herb. It looks like it's standing, but surely enough, it will wither before any other plant if it doesn't have that foundation. That's where you stand right now. It appears like we all have truth, but it's not truth unless you come to the Bible and you read it. The understanding that they gave you, that you think you're standing on, that you know you gotta drop all of it. It's not gonna benefit you. You understand that? You need to, you need to understand that our forefathers had to survive. If you don't, you'll wither with time. Knowing the deep stuff is not gonna save you. You understand, you understand that? Oh, I've been okay. understood that. Uh, I was just, you know, making sure we both on the same page so we on I was, my next question is, our forefathers that are one point, you know, again, from the beginning question, and I asked you, you know, what are we gonna do about it, but. Let me ask you a question, and I'm gonna go to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make. Give me the book of Revelations. Let me show you something real quick. Give me the book of Revelations. Revelation 11 and 8. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, uh -huh. which spiritually is which called... spiritually is what? Sodom and Egypt. Which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So we're spiritually in a land that's called Egypt because of what happened. Pick a side up real quick right here. Oh, oh. It said, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. Everything that happened to us, uh, us in Egypt is happening here in this land. Right. We are conquered, we are enslaved. And guess how the Egyptians deal with us? Let's get that real quick, get my Bible. Give me uh, chapter one in Exodus. How did the Egyptians deal with us when we were enslaved in that land? Exodus chapter one, I want you to read verse uh, nine. Nine and ten. Exodus chapter one, verse nine. Mm -hmm. And he said unto his people, Read on. Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them. It says the people in this land are more and mightier than we. Talking about us. Come, let us deal with them. Let's deal wisely with them. Same crafty counsel we read in Psalms 83. They hid our identity from us. Sisters, real quick in the back here. What is your nationality? What they call you today? What do they call you today? Jamaican? What do they call you, sis? Jamaican, you assume your sisters, right? Jamaican as well. My sister right here, what do they call you today? Black. Black? Are we? What is Jamaican? Let me ask you that. What is Jamaican? Black. Jamaican? Yeah, black. What is, what, what is your nationality called? Nah, I don't have one. You don't have one? What do they call you? They, they call me nigga, negro, life. Name that God didn't give you, correct? Right? Nah, well. right? Yeah. So they fixed upon us title. So we would forget who we are. By God, what God called us. Right. And it's a reason why they did that. Because if we only understood that we are the Israelites, we're seeking the same salvation our forefathers saw back then. We're praying to our God, we're keeping his commandments, and we're waiting on him to deliver us. Right. They don't want us to come back to be the great people we are. They divided us as a nation. They separated the men from the women. They put the light-skinned slave against the dark-skinned slave. Right. The woman above the man in this land, you name it. The child is above the adult. Everything is backwards. Right. They created this. 
they did this to us so we would be on the bottom and we'll be fighting at each other instead of looking at who's actually killing us. Right. The war is outside of us. They are mathematically putting these things into place so we can kill ourselves. Right. Look That's at the Rosemont. Right. We are in the same community with the same conditions and then they give us bad education, bad health care, right. and the bad food that they place in our communities. Right. This is set up. God said you are going to be in the neck of your enemies. They're going to oppress you. You're going to be oppressed on every side. These are the curses. You understand that? So the Egyptians, this is the same thing that they did. They oppressed us. They kept us oppressed so we wouldn't realize who we are. Or we wouldn't come to seek our God. So they put their gods everywhere. Right. Celebrate Christmas. Christmas is not in the Bible. You, you knew that before? That was never Christ's birthday. But guess what? They didn't tell us to celebrate Christmas. God. So how does God feel about that when you worship in another uh, holiday that never protects you? You worship in another God. That's so much God. You understand that? I got a lot of them to get through this. I gotta I gotta edify them as well. I don't want them to walk off. But I want to get to your question. I'm gonna answer your question, I'm gonna come back to what I was saying. I was gonna say, Read on in it. You, your question was, what do we do now? Our forefathers didn't sit on their hands. I'm going to show you what they did. Bring it out. Chapter 1, verse 10. Come on, let us deal wisely with them. Least they multiply and it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us. So they took crafty counsel against us. Now, jump over real quick. I want to get chapter uh, 3 and let's read verse uh, 7. Check this out. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people. He says, I have surely seen the affliction of my people. He's seeing our affliction now. God see all this black home. He see all of this police brutality that's happening to us. Don't think he's just sitting quiet about it. He understands it, but he said, you know what? I'm not doing to nothing until they're ready. Right. Until they start seeking my face, I'm going to let them stay in that condition. Right. We did this to ourselves. That's what we got to understand. Right. right. This ain't no white and black issue like white man, white man. No, no. You broke God's commandments. The oh. Lord swore is our enemies. He says, since you want to break my commandments, I'm going to put your enemies over you. Right. Since you want to listen to me, I'm going to give you somebody to follow. And guess what? They're going to oppress you. They're going to have their foot up your behind. You understand that? Last height, first fire. That's what happens to us. I'm coming back to you, brother. So if I put effort into learning God's commandments, make that number one priority in my life, my life will change it, will turn around, correct? Remember he says, I have seen and I have heard the affliction in the land of Egypt, right? You can see that, right? What did the Lord do after he seen our affliction in that land of Egypt? Did our forefathers get up and fight the Egypt? No, I'm getting, I'm getting. What happened? He told the he sent us from uh, Moses. He sent us Moses, right? That's what they told us. That's what happened in the Bible. Moses came and through the Lord, the, the Lord worked through Moses to deliver the children of Israel, right? You believe that, right? I don't know if I can believe that. Why don't you believe? To, uh, See, this is what I'm saying. You have to believe in the Bible. If you don't believe in the Bible, then that's a whole different thought. No, I believe in the Bible, but there's more truth to it than what they're just that's why I was. That's why I was trying to get at early. You denied yeah. what I was saying. I was telling you that other stuff, if it doesn't you can't mesh anything. Give me that real quick in the book of Isaiah 34. I know that's where you were yeah. going. Yeah, that's that's why I up. told you, brother, everything that they told you, if it ain't in the Bible, you got to put it down. You cannot believe in the Bible and believe in another doctrine. The same question that you asked about Adam, you you following his footsteps. You following the doctrine that he did. You know what? Yeah, it is good for fruit. Let me taste it myself. Right. That's what you're doing, brother. Right. right. You're repeating the same cycle. Right. The question that you ask, you should be asking, how do I avoid the mistakes of that? Right. Right. You're following the same path. You're getting you're getting enticing and and, and, and and wondering about other information that don't matter. That's not gonna save you. <clears throat> we read the curses in the Bible while you're in the condition that you are in today. No other book told me that. I'm not reading nothing else. You understand that? This is where your help lies. This is the strength of the Lord. You understand that? Get that real quick. Read that. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Read on. And read. And what? And read. read on. No one of these shall fail. No one of these shall fail. The Bible hasn't failed us. In the Christian church, we, did, we just didn't know where to look. The answers has been here all along. That's what I'm saying. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. None shall I want that in Ecclesiastes, read it and finish that off. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. 
No one of these shall fail. Uh -huh. None shall want her mate. So you can't make the Bible with other doctrines and say it compares to this and come up with a grand understanding. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. This is how our forefathers were saved by the, the Egyptian captivity, the Babylonian captivity, the Syrian captivity. Right. We wouldn't read no other book. We that's read right. this and we understood where our help lies and that's what we got to understand. God is going to save us, whether you believe it or not. I'm trying to convince you to understand and persuade you that, brother, put everything down. You got to be taught all over again. The stuff that they gave us, they try to take your focus off of this. Right. right. The other books that you read, did they tell you how you came over here? Did they tell you who you are? Yeah. What other books? What other books? Um, it's pretty much, um, you say it's going to give you the names of the books? What other or? books you have been reading that told you about who you are, why you're going through what you're going through? I've read multiple books from all the way from Give me a name of one. Muslim Give me a name of one. Um, what, the Quran? No, I don't read the Quran. Which one? I study with the Quran. Tell I me the name the of the book that you got your information as far Okay, I'm, I'm going to let you talk. There's multiple books. I can't remember all of them. Right Give me one. But I know who I am. Give me I know one. I can tell you who I am. I don't have to tell you a book to tell me that. I'm it's just like I'm Jesus saying, didn't need the Brother, book look, look. Them. This is what I want to yeah. say. For instance, I'm wrong. Yeah. I got to read what you understand. Oh, okay. Give me the name of the book so I can say, well, you know what? The brother's right. Our nationality is in this book. Give me the name of the book. You have the starters. If you're a person that don't know about religion, that's looking Give up, me the name of the book. Quran. If you're a person that, that's been teaching, No, no, no. Give me the name of the Quran, Quran first. And I but, said that before. You denied it. No, I'm, I'm not, gonna show I'm you not something. denying it. I'm just okay. giving you a multiple Give me another one. Because the Quran don't books. count. Because Quran because means what? All books matter. Quran, Quran means what? Book. Quran means what? Huh? Quran, the word Quran, Quran means what? Huh? No, I'm not, I'm not. But you read it and you understand the book. I'm not a Muslim. Okay, I'm going to tell you what the word Quran means. I'm not a Muslim either. Quran means recite. What were they reciting? The Bible. So why not just read the Bible? Right. Give me the other book outside of the Quran that identifies who you are. So the Bible identifies who we are. Yeah, we read it over and over again. No, you, you read all the other books too. The, I, the, I, like I said, those books, the Bible validate the points of the book. The book didn't tell us who we are. The, so Christ me, said we were going to Africa. Say, no, honestly, be fair. If you say the Bible tells us that, tell, tell me where the Bible tells us that. We was I actually born in Israel, not Africa, not Egypt. I said we ran into Africa, and I said I was going to read an account that backs up what Christ was saying. No, when Christ you said we ran into Africa, we be um, be blunt. What do you mean by that? Huh? When you said we ran into Africa, we ran into Africa, Africa fleeing from the Romans. So I mean, we wasn't born in Africa. We were not. We, we're not Africans. That's what I'm saying. That's why I was telling you the names of Africa is not Africa. So hey. what, where does it say that in the book that we're not Africans? Where does it Jews, say that we were Africans? Because Christ, was, God was talking to Jews. That's what I'm saying. Moses was talking to Jews when he said you're going to be carrying the cargo slave ships. That's how I know. That. Moses was talking to Jews. He wasn't talking to Hamites when he said you're going to go into cargo slave ships. So before then. When before we, then what? So you saying Moses told us that we were going, we were going to put in the cargo ship, right? Moses, but, was he talking to Hamites or was he talking to Israelites? Okay, but who is Abraham? Brother, you you fight. Go with you. You're trying to go find a you. point you can stand no, on. You I'm, don't I'm, have I'm a leg to stand you, on, brother. You, you're trying to I'm gonna be honest, honest with you. You I'm don't have a saying, leg to stand who's, on. Who's, who's, who's Abraham? Where he come from? All right, I'm 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 gonna get back to you, brother. I'm gonna get back to you. You gotta. I'm going to read one thing for you and I'm going to deal with y'all, sister. You mean the same the book of St. John, chapter 3. I know what you're doing. Brother, I see you, I've seen the spirit before. What you're trying to do, battle all of this stuff that somebody had told you, and you're trying to fight too familiar. Because we dealt with, I read other books, and I said, what other book? There's many. You know I said, give me one. Quran. Uh, well, not the Quran, there's other ones. Multiple other books. books. You expect me to remember every book? Like, you just showed me Give me one. Books, yeah. I can tell you the name I of books I read, but they don't you amount know, to what got, the Bible says. I just told you, number one, man, read that Quran. Right. Check this out, brother. But when he was saying about, yeah, give me, read, where you at? Give me the book of, uh, yeah, you uh, read uh, verse three. The book of John, chapter three, verse three. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. You know what that means? What does that mean? Be born again. It's not you who you are now. And what happens to this mind? It changes. It changes. That's what got to happen to you. That's what got to happen to you. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. 
please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.